Hello YouTube, it's BTM here, bringing you back to the Black Tiger Minor YouTube channel, and we're talking about uh, altcoins, and since Bitcoin is up, we're actually looking for altcoins, and these are going to go over the top altcoins. So let me know um, where you guys are from and uh, what tokens, if any, you're looking into. So I want to do uh, <clears throat> some other to coins outside of Casper, right? We need to diversify. And since a lot of you guys are new to crypto, I picked out a top 10 list and I'll go through them. And the last one is a project that I just started looking at. So thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for coming to Black Tiger Miner uh, YouTube channel. And let me know as the discussion goes, um, what, if any, coins you're looking at. Remember, do your own due diligence. This is not financial advice. This is just me giving you crypto tips for entertainment purposes. So let's go. And we'll start with the uh, crypto bubbles. So the bubbles, Kronos is seventeen up seventeen point eight percent. Lithium's up nine point five. FTT is up twenty three percent. Heroes of uh, Marta's up nine point seven. USTC is up seven point eight. Jasmine's down one point eight. Fetch is up three point eight. Uh, SHIBS up 29.8. Uniswap is up 9.3. NEARS up 13%. XRP is up uh, 6.7. Litecoin's up 16.11. Filecoin's up 13.3. Luna is up 21.9. ARC M is down 11%. Lynx up 6.3. So, yes, uh, AR. There is a lot of coins that are up, but I uh, did want to go kind of break down a few ones for you guys. So I got a, a quick little top five list of ones you should be looking at or investing in. So these are gaming tokens. So gaming tokens is also going to be a big run up when the market, the bull run starts. Some people say we're already in the bull run. I'm not going to say that, but we're real close if we're not already in it. And since the Bitcoin halving is less than 50 days away, you're going to see some coins start to run up. Uh, yes, green is a good sign, but if you're buying, I generally buy on red days. So for the first one, let's see here. Uh, you got Flock, Flocka, uh, Starlink. Uh, Radio Casa, Gala, uh, let's see here, um, just looking through the list here. So we're going to concentrate on Starlink. Starlink's up 83.9% last seven days. Wow, 50% in the last 24 hours and 1.5 in the last hour. 24 hour volume is 24 million. Market cap is 53 million. So we're going to concentrate on a lot of the low market caps, right? You want to get in low, wait for it to go up and make money. Like you're not going to make a lot of money in Bitcoin, but if you buy these um, low cap and as they get bigger in cap, then you cash out and invest in Bitcoin, right? Use the money you made and make that investment. So with Starlink, um, Starlink is up, um, 50% today, 50.8 in the last 24 hours. It's S T A R L. And if we go here, this is coin market cap. Coin market cap is showing at 0 0.000005. So now is a good time to get in because it's still, um, relatively low cap, right? And if you can see, Today, it's up 51.60. I generally don't recommend to buy them when it's up. Uh, I'd say wait till they dip and then buy them. 
You can get it on OKX, Uniswap, Gate.io, Bink. Uh, Maxi Coin Exchange, uh, BitGit, Bitmark, and Gate.io. Trying to see if it was on. Guess not. So I need to figure out where to purchase that from. Let's see here. Starlink. Uh, about Starlink. Launching to the frontier of visual space with Starlink Metaverse. I know a lot of people were complaining about the Metaverse, and it didn't quite take off the way people thought it would. But there's still time, guys, right? Don't count out the Metaverse plays or the gaming plays yet. Gaming is just warming up. So this is uh, it's the first, let me see, uh, along through Cosmos, along with other discovery space stations where you can meet people, trade items and NFTs, access various gaming experiences, entertainment, modify your spaceship, and learn, craft, and create. So I might look into that as well. The Starlink token will be the key to everything in the metaverse. The currency for the first truly decentralized metaverse project, 100% unlocked, renounced, and community-driven. The Starlink metaverse project is the first crypto project on board a AAA game design and development team with two decades of experience, including work for PlayStation, Disney, Lionsgate Entertainment, Lucasfilms, Pixar, and Lego Group. Starlink will bridge between professional gaming industry and crypto. So that's the main reason I'm bullish on it. I'm bullish on it. Sorry, because it will link between uh, gaming and crypto. So it's kind of a bridge. Like a lot of the projects we're looking at are bridging. So there's going to be more value. So let me know what you guys think about that in the chat. Starlink will act as a gaming launch pad for the first game warp nexus uh, being adopted and developed by some whim bright studios warp nexus is a vast space exploration play to earn space mmo the starlink token and build modify ships hire pilots to help you guide through the battle through missions, trade useful or cosmetic items, and upgrade, and much, much more. So thanks, uh, contractor, subcontractor. Yeah, I'm just trying to help educate people on the exciting world of crypto and also make you a couple dollars, right? Put some money in pocket so you don't have to do something strange for a little piece of change. So let's go. Um, I'll talk about this is interconnected between the metaverse, the games, and the blockchain. Use it to find, create, and trade NFT items for your adventures in the virtual space. The marketplace is where the artist can list, create, explore, sell their found treasures. Pilots can hunt for ship upgrades. Users can shop, customize, unique customize for their avatars and virtual reality real estate. Everything is possible in the metaverse when in the space. Add this just the beginning. And this is just the beginning. So if we look at the actual page, this is their website, Star Token, right? And it's pretty cool. Welcome to Starlink University Universe, a virtual blockchain-based metaverse set in space where you can explore, play, and trade social lives with other players. So don't forget to hit that like button and share and subscribe. Let's get more people into the live. Uh, welcome to Star Universe, a virtual background um, blockchain-based metaverse set in space where you can explore, play, and socialize with other players. Buy on Uniswap. This is the white papers. Also, you can get it on... OKX, Gate.io, Maxi, Uniswap, and SibSwap, which I don't even know what SibSwap is, but whatever. Uh, a 3D social universe filled with exploration, discovery, and creation. Artistic 
uh, expressing gaming and collecting assets will interact with the virtual world with the blockchain based economy. Upgrade the physical from the world we all live in that provides the universe to explore beyond limitations. So basically in the universe, you're going to be able to build ships, uh, trade things with other people in the universe and create NFTs and sell them. And I suspect whatever else you come across there, not reading the white papers, uh, start token is the currency on the Stark metaverse and star marketplace. So it looks like you're going to be able to sell things and build things. Marketplace enables participants to manage and exchange safe NFT uh, priced in Stark. Uh, gaming 3D virtual space meta, which is part of the Starlink system. The token, uh, the profile, the NFTs are virtual tokens generated on the blockchain. They're transferable and unique indivisible as they provide real digital ownership of proof of stark metaverse assets and then the gaming portion or gaming portal test your skills earn rewards explore create and battle alongside or against other users in stark metaverse when you play games like warp nexus and more free spins for players extra chances so it will be some more um information the games look kind of cool and the nfts look cool as well so let me know what you guys think about uh stark or starlink so that was the what up steve um uh, that was the first pick moving on this is the ai sector right top artificial coins and I'm trying to uh, pick the coins that you guys should research, right? Don't buy them just because I say do your own due diligence. What's up, Steve? What's up, guys? Remember, Casper's the Army, better yet, the Navy. Shout out to the Air Force and working on the Space Force. All coins is the Space Force, so let's go. Um, artificial intelligence coins. And we have uh, BitTensor, which I will big on. Render, which is also a good product. Fetch AI, Singular Net, which I did invest in previously, but I uh, pulled, um, I sold, but I wish I would have uh, kept. But there's some other jewels here. Uh, Ocean Protocol. Uh, and this Arkham keeps popping back up. It's down today, but we'll do that on the next video. Let's see, Arkham and I guess Singular. And there was something else I just came across. Oh, uh, yeah. And then shout out to our old liquid intelligence that kind of disappeared for a while, but looks like it's coming back. So we might do a video on or mention them in the next video. But for today, let's see if we can sort by seven days. Uh, okay, let's see, sort by 24 hours. I'm looking for something specific here. This Arc Tech is also one we need to check out. So let me know if any of you guys have looked at that or did any research. But for today, we're going with Fetch AI. Let's see if we can find it in the list here. It's weird because it was just here. Okay, here it is number 56. And uh, let's see here. Going to uh market cap launched uh v2 mainnet in April 21. Tokens can convert her from ERC20 and mainnet using the interact interchain bridge. So fetch is a dollar eighty-one up four point six percent. Um, see if there's anything else here. You can get it on Bling Binance, uh, Coinbase Exchange, Deep Coin, Mexi, OKX, Skate.io, and KuCoin. And you'll say, what is Fetch AI? So this is uh, Forbes, right? Forbes is talking about it, which is from last year. 
it kind of boomed a little bit last year, and then it kind of went away. And I think it's starting to come back. Fetch AI is a blockchain platform that uses artificial intelligence to help people automate everyday tasks, such as booking parking spaces or flights. Here's how Fetch AI works and what it means. Da, da, da. The idea behind Fetch AI is to decentralize and automate transactions on the web. Instead of searching for a booking on flight via price comparisons website, you can use Fetch AI to automate the task. An automated bot known as a digital twin representing you will interface with digital twins from airlines and ticket providers to negotiate a deal on your behalf. Using parameters you set, such as what you want to travel and how much you want to spend. So again, this is a really good product, right? Or a really good project. Uh, I'm not saying to buy it. Definitely research it. Do your own due diligence. But I'm definitely in it already. And I'm going to get a little deeper into it as well. So let me know what you think about this one. Yeah, uh, AR. Uh, James, yeah, things are changing, man. This is crypto is about to take off and uh, straight rocket us to uh, space, man, straight to the moon. There's going to be a lot of changes, and a lot of people going to get left behind living in the old world where things are running in a digital world. Our digital twin. Sorry about that. Um, your digital twin interact with digital twins have previous performed the same or similar task using artificial intelligence your digital twin can learn what to do for example a book of holiday similar to the one a friend took last year you book a holiday similar to the one a friend took last year without having to ask your friend where they booked the airline they use where they hired a car from and so forth just a single example how fetch can be used elsewhere the platform is being used for decentralized finance in the crypto space uh fetch ai can recognize token trading at lower prices on one crypto exchange and other and take advantage of the difference for you automatically so it can help you find cryptocurrencies cheaper then what you're paying for them, right? Or find you the best way to purchase them. Fetch is the native uh, cryptocurrency of the Fetch AI platform. It's powered by internal economy. Fetch users spend e, uh, FET to consume services within the platform. The users also stake their own FET for the opportunity to stay in governance and direct the Fetch AI platform Users can stake fetch and earn interest in variable rates, interest of 10% annually. Okay, so for um, staking, I don't recommend staking. Uh, I've heard some people who had a uh, good time with fetching and some people who did staking and lost their uh, crypto or was able not able to get it back out of the crypto. So go ahead and hit the like button and let me know where you guys are um, logging in from. Shout out to Paul Wilson. Yeah, Caspers, the Army, better yet, the Navy got pulled into the Army. And now with AI, we're looking at the Space Force. So let's go. Watching from the Philippines. Okay, um, requirement to put fetch in order to deploy digital twins to prevent the platform from being flooded with spam and malicious digital twins autonomous ecomo jets or agents to get to their official name and this is the fetch ai homepage which is kind of cool i mean four pages i think it's okay uh watch the video a platform for new economy we might try that video uh, transform your legacy systems into AI ready without changing your existing APIs. Uh, platform connects to uh, multiple services. So this is the Discord, uh, OpenAI, Yahoo Finance, Slack, WhatsApp, 
Google calendars and sky scanner, which I don't even know what sky scanner is, but this is showing the integrations, uh, flight status, Google Gemini integration, T5, um, helps you track flights, helps you chat conversations with Google Gemini, uh, text to text transfer, transformer, uh, blimp capture large. I don't know what any of these are. Let me know if you've heard of these. I know Google Maps API. I don't know about the integration part. Open Whisper and Open Journey. So it seems to be a lot here. So I actually allow users to access multiple servers from simple prompt Delta Vs. I think it goes in the Delta V. So let's actually click on this video because I'm kind of interested to see what's on here. So that was a quick little video. I thought it was some sound or some noise here, but apparently it's not. But it was still some good information about the project and kind of a quick demo of how Fetch works. So we'll see. Yeah, there was no sound in the video. Yeah. Um I thought it was something there, but it was just a demo, and I don't think there was any sound on the demo. Or if it was, it was really low. So moving forward, now we're looking at uh, one of the coins I've been looking at for a while, um, invested in, and some of you might be invested in it because there is a, a, a big product uh behind it there and this is uh so bitcoin cash is up 42 flock is up 39 and that's actually a meme coin i don't know why it's under the uh this is the biggest loser um chronos chronos cro chronos cio is actually the token for um crypto.com right uh, current market cap, it is up to $3.6 billion. 24-hour trading volume is $101 million, up 89%. Uh, market cap's up 13.7. Actual coin is up 13.1. And I suspect, uh, here we go, finally it loaded. It's slowly going up. And I suspect at a $1, you will 10x. This is not financial advice. This is just me telling you. At 1x, I mean, at 10x, it'll be $1. At 20x, it'll be $2. And at 30x, it'll be $3. So it is probably pretty good to get in now. 
You can get it on Coinbase, uh, OKX, uh, KuCoin, Gate.io, uh, OKX, Uniswap, Coinbase, uh, Osmosis. And I wonder why um, Crypto.com is not on here. Because it's actually the Crypto.com's native token. So this is uh, Kronos on Crypto.com. And if you can see here, it is... Um, 19.91 percent up. Uh, current price is 14.2 cents. And let me know if you can hear me. Is the sound come back or is the sound still out? Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Um, so this is um, about Kronos. And I think Kronos does have the space to run. I think at some point, current market crap is 3.9 billion. Uh, okay. 102 million market cap. Circling supply is 26.5 billion. Max cap is 30 billion. And it's also another one to keep your eye on. Okay. And then this is the top meme coins right i know this is what a lot of you guys is waiting for meme coins so if you see here uh i'm not sure about this abram is up 737 percent on solano abram abram i don't know what this is Harry Potter, Trump, uh, Homer, which I don't know. It's kind of a lot wrapped into one. Uh, Baby, Shiba Inu, Magic, uh, Flock is one we're going to talk about, and uh, Bonk. Uh, Pepe is up 239% in the last seven days. And this is Bonk. Bonk's down 3.9% in the last 24 hours. But it's currently up 130 6.2 percent in the last hour it is up 2.6 and if you've been watching bunk took off recently right it's been running like crazy so if you see here on crypto daily uh com uk or daily co uk uh bunk was launched in december 31st 2022 it's built on top of solana that makes sense holders of the main coin initially benefited from the fast low cost transactions this became over time one of the fastest growing meme coins on the network and gathered significant hype and speculation for traders and investors it is inspired by memes jokes and satire it has grown by 43% in the past trading session and has massive growth potential in the upcoming trading sessions. As a result, it seems a top crypto to invest in. While the project initially began as a joke, it's gathering significant appeal over time and pushed many towards Solana blockchain. So it is kind of the gateway in the Solana for a lot of people. And it is like the other meme coins, right? It started as a joke and then took off and got popular. And a lot of people were really bullish on it because it was on the Solano chain. And again, this is not financial advice. And I want to make sure you guys understand. Don't take any of the coins personal, right? Some people hold personal grudges against certain projects. It's only about investing and making money, right? Even though there's nothing behind this but a funny picture, right? There's no tech behind it, but it's popular, right? And it's going to stay popular, like Deutsch and Shiba Inu and Pepe, right? These guys are going to keep going up in price. And you can see here in the last day, it is up 0.1. So now would be a good time to buy because it's finally down, right? It's been running last seven days uh for the month look at it it was here at zero 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 one one nine two and this was last week 
And then went all the way up to, I think it dropped to zero. Zero, 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 two, six. But yeah, it's not personal. Just you can get it on Binance, Coinbase, Exchange. I think it's on crypto.com too. I don't know why coin market cap doesn't list crypto.com here. Uh are you doing like tomorrow? Um, actually, what's up, Dwayne? No, I'm buying it tonight, actually. Or uh actually I have bought some already, so I might pick some more up while it's down. Uh, I don't think Apple has a Bitcoin, not that I know of. It's probably coming, but that's the thing about um, this crypto market. It is early, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes in late, and a lot of these projects are going to uh, die out, right? Like this guy's up 136% in the last month. So once it gets to a point, a lot of people are probably going to uh, get it, buy it, sell it, and then move on to another project, right? And this is the actual uh, bunk uh, page. And I'll put all these pages in the um, description so you guys can look at them and understand and research. I want to make sure you guys research them and understand what it is each product does and what each product project where you can get it, and uh, what the community is behind it. Initially notched as a free airdrop to the Solana community on Christmas Day 2022. That's weird because the last one said uh, 2021. Bonk adoption has since grown parabolical to emerge as the top community coin of Web3. Uh, current holders is 614,000. Uh, 119 integrations on 10 chains. So Bonk is the big boy in the streets. I'm trying to tell you guys, Bonk is everywhere. And it's also a good investment because it's cheap. A lot of these ones I'm telling you guys, get in now while it's low. And I doubt very seriously, Florida's in the building. Shout out to PJ Construction. Um, It might not make it to a dollar, but... From here, as close as it gets to a dollar, you're going to make some good amount of change, right? And see, go back to uh, use Bonk. Bonk boasts 119 integrations across the following categories. 25 on DeFi, 9 on developers, 33 exchanges, 20 gaming, uh, 12 NFTs, 7 transfer to 6 social, I don't know what social means and seven wallets. And so this is the DeFi integrations. Um, I'm not sure about any of these. Let me know if you guys have heard uh, objective. Watch out for bonk objective. Our features integrations you may make for the most of your bonk. Uh, pool party. I might need to check that out too. Additional DeFi. So all it was is DeFi. Oh, uh, we'll go to exchange. So exchanges, Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, Jupiter, uh, HTX, uh, Crypto.com. So it is on here. Okay. I was like, why they ain't listed on Crypto.com? So looking at the gaming. And actually, I want to know what social is. Uh, to make most out of your bonk. I'm not sure what that social means. This is the wallets, and I do have Solo Flare and Martian. I am actually saw that on Dex Tools, which is pretty interesting. Warranty POM. Uh, exchange, whenever exchanges, NFTs, exchange art, uh, Solo Accelerator, uh, Bonafide, Bandit. Yeah, uh, Peace of Mind. Shout out to Peace of Mind Home Warranty was one of the sponsors. I keep forgetting to get the page, but I'll get their page up. Yeah, we're streaming late. Just trying to pick up some more people on the weekend. Help you out on your investment into this altcoin market. Get in while you can. 
So um, duh, 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 went down this bonk rabbit hole. And another project that I picked up is Jasmine. And I think it's on the crypto bubble here somewhere. See if we can find it. Yeah, Jasmine coin. It is 0 0.02, 333 million, 24 hour, 1.0 market cap, ranked 106. And it's actually a pretty good project because you can see from the website, it is decentralized data. Um, Build is Japan's Bitcoin. Jasmine is the token platform that champions the decentralization of data by combining blockchain and internet of things iot technology to provide infrastructure that allows anyone to use data safely and securely jasmine aims to regain data sovereignty for all so basically they're trying to clean up and control a lot of the data and as i mentioned a lot of these projects are coming online to do more than uh just regular work or meme coins or a, a lot of stuff that people aren't really ready for so it's going to be slow at first then it's going to take off like crazy so make sure you research um jasmine with innovation in blockchain technology we create decentralized and more um democracy of the data democratic of the data where you will be able to store and control your data in a safe secure manner safely and securely manage and control of your own devices provide safe and secure use of data under certain rules and i want to stay on the data side i was watching this movie on netflix about the uh octopus murders and they're saying how the government kind of took over a company's technology because they were using it and it was way more powerful than the company uh, thought. And this is what I'm thinking about here with secure data. Because in the movie, the guy had a lot of files and information that he wanted to keep secret. And if you could store stuff here, your lot data, and you could let someone access it without having to put it up somewhere or um i guess store it right this would be a good place and this would be probably a good investment for cryptocurrency so i don't know what you guys think about that but i think it is uh the jasmine iot platform to achieve this, we combine blockchain and Internet of Things technology, provide the best platform for you across industries and across the world. So this is something pretty cool here. It was founded with the idea of data dem democracy, 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 democracy. We believe in every person's right to safer and more secure personal data. So if you can see here, there's definitely a push for secure data. There's 63,000 uh, coin holders with a 1 billion market cap. Uh, blockchain is Ethereum, circling supply, total supply, and max supply. So moving forward is Flare. And somebody mentioned Flare in the um previous uh one of the previous updates so let me know what you guys think about that and if there's any other tokens that you guys are finding that we could talk about or we can create for later videos flare is a project that inspires not only to establish decentralized but to offer a whole crypto world additional features it makes it possible to use ripple Litecoin and other coins that have not a native as not native as bridge uh, assets, which it can be used in smart contracts in D apps. The Flare networks becoming the point of attraction in recent recently made new records of 20 million blocks created 
and 60 million transactions. There is a readily rise in network activity as a result when pricing tokens. Uh, funds from token sales, reinvest in development, and the platform is agreed with investors. The allocation of these funds will go to update diverse systems and ecosystems that gives the coin more recognition. And I don't think this is the same coin I was talking about, but we're going to check it out anyway. And this is the top 10 cryptos to buy in the bull run. And they have first this Mango King, which I just started seeing about today. So I'm going to add that to the next video. Let's see, Kang. Kango Moon. But we do know about Solana, the Ethereum killer, which has been uh, crazy off the charts already this year. Uh, Polygon, Matic, which I hear a lot about. I talked about it before, but I'm not really big in this product. Our project, uh, Ethereum, which I'm also not really big in because of the fees. Until they can get their fees down, I don't think it's a good investment. It's profitable, and a lot of people are, are uh, investing in it. I'm just going to keep watching. Uh, Vetcoin, which I never heard of until now. Avalanche is another good product. Uh, Native Token had good beginning in 2022, as it gave a bullish sign as much. Like that of Solana, it has moved from yearly low of eight dollars to wow, forty nine dollars. I might have to check that. It's not forty nine dollars. Hold on, how much is nine hundred and forty? Where we are? Uh, I know it's on here. Just give me a second. Yeah, here it is. Wow, it is forty four dollars. I stand corrected. Uh, sixteen point eight billion market cap. 24 hour trading, 24 hour trading volume is 7 uh 29. So you have Shiba Inu, which has been going parabolic lately, and people are losing their mind. I got people texting me all the time. I had, I'd say, over a thousand dollars in SHIB back when uh SHIB and uh Deutsche Korn was taken off, and I sold it. I think I bought Casper with it. And I kind of wish I kind of saved some of that. But I think the Caspa investment will be better. Remember, Caspa, Caspa, Caspa. And let's get back to the money. And then this is Chainlink. Is number eight, uh, sign uh, L-I-N-K, is another major force in the crypto sector. Oracle-based token has gained massive adoption in 2024 thanks to CCIP service. Which numeral and plat numerous platforms, include banks, have adopted, and also the networks working to tokenize RWA real world assets, making the DeFi project worth watching. With its native token of Link among top fifteen cryptos in the market, it is a huge chance for gains in the twenty twenty four bull market. And of course, Uniswap, which I'm also bullish on. And I actually picked some up before it took off. So I picked it back in, uh, it's further back than that. Let me see. If we can. Uh, yeah, I think I picked it up. There's no dates here. Seeing the year. I think I picked it up. Uh, let me see here somewhere. Yeah, I picked it up. I think it was a $5. Currently it's at $12. So I think that's a fifth. Um, I think I doubled my money in that investment. It's currently ranked 18, market cap 7.5 billion. 24-hour trading volume is 631. So that's another product to keep an eye on. And then there is Flare. And this is the Flare Network. Someone mentioned this, so I haven't had a lot of time to research it. But uh, Flare is a level one uh, EVM-based blockchain that has two core data acquisition protocol the state connector and the flare time series oracle uh flare time series get centralized on chain cryptocurrency uh state connector get decentralized on chain information about state of the other block chains and internet interesting 
And of course, there's an API portal. Um, the Flare ecosystem includes several networks with different roles. So there's the Flare, the mainnet, the Songbird, the Costin 1, and Costin 2. I don't even know anything about that. I need to research that as well. Open source, all our source code and repositories are public. These are the most relevant. There's a Flare node, uh, Flare smart contracts, ST, FTSO data provider, and something, Ascension client, attention client or something. Uh, trying to see if there's anything other useful here. And if not, so we'll go back. I think we went through that top 10 list. And I thought I had a Reddit window open. So this is back at the crypto bubbles. So we talked about Kronos, um, Fetch. Uh, I think Bonk is on here. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about Shiba Inu. We'll go to the weeks. Uh, let's look at the month, actually. So we talked about Jasmine. It's up 332% for the month. This AGIX is something singular. Net, which I invested in previously, but I got out uh, another one I wish I probably would have stayed in. But I'm going to revisit that in the next video. This Arc, uh, Arcam, which is doing wow, it's up 336% for the month. Another one to research. Uh, let's see here, Beam is up 103. Uh, FX, uh, cash was up 72%. Alitium is up 111%. Uh, Oasis is up 22%. Archblock is up 388. Shiv's up 148. Uniswap, we just talked about, is up 110. Uh, Inspirational Walker, thanks for joining and thanks for uh, coming to support Black Tiger Miner. Uh, Prime is up 87.6. Ocean's up 152. Uh, where is, yeah, Fetch is up 220. We did talk about Fetch today as well. And where's Starlink? Don't I have Starlink on here? Uh, Render's up 63.3 for the month. I've heard a lot about Render. I might talk about that in the next video as well. So let me know what cryptos you guys are looking at and we should add to the next live which might be monday i might do it tomorrow but i'm not sure yet what were we looking for um what's up texas crypto just going over some altcoins let me know what you guys are looking at or talking about Cardano is up 49 point uh oh starting 49 point oh yeah 49.5 for the month and we're adding Starlink to our list I thought we did have it on here but apparently we don't so we're going to add Starlink to the favorites and go back to favorites and here we go. Starlink is. Oh, wow. Starlink is on uh, Maxi, Gate IO, and OQX. It's currently one, two, three, four, five zeros and a five. Market cap is 37.4 million. Sorry, the volume is 37.4. Market cap is 59.3. And it's, what is this? One, two, three, four, five zeros. Current rank is uh, 565, and it's up 94. I'm not saying it's a runner, but there's definitely something good going on here. And if you check out the webpage, I mean, the webpage looks pretty nice. And you can see here in the last day, it is up 56%. Did this say it's up 50%? So we'll go to the day chart. Okay, okay, yeah, it is. Oh, wow. So this is definitely one to keep an eye on. 
this is not financial advice, but um, I'm gonna check it out. So this is on IK OKX. It's on Uniswap. It's on Gate.io. It's on Bing X. It's on Maxi, uh, Coinx, Bitget, Bitmart, uh, LA Token. I don't even heard of that. Gate.io. Uh, Pioneer. Yeah, I've heard of most of these. I have not heard of most of these guys. Uh, Hot Coins, Super X, and uh, what is this? L Bank. Yeah, I ain't heard of most of these exchanges. So again, stay away from sketchy exchanges. And I was looking for my little tangent, tangent, tangent. Okay. So remember Tangen, the Tangen wallet to get your crypto off the exchange. There was a lot of people talking about um, last week when Bitcoin stopped. And Bitcoin stopped because of the exchanges ran out of liquidity, right? More people were trying to buy it than they had. So Coinbase froze, right? It wouldn't let you buy or sell because it ran out of liquidity so once you buy your crypto on the exchange move it to your tangent wallet your zelcore wallet anything off of the exchanges right you don't want to keep them on the exchanges because you won't be able to access it versus if it's on your tangent wallet or it's on your desktop wallet, your local wallet, your Zellcore wallet, your cold storage wallet, you have your keys, right? And if you have your keys, there's nothing uh, can be done to lose uh, your actual tokens. I've heard horror stories about people who lost Bitcoin from exchanges or uh, shady people or shady exchanges just in general, go ahead and hit the like uh, button. And let's see here. Back to Starlink. Uh, by Uniswap. Welcome to Star Universe Virtual Backgrounds. I'm just going back to this because the price is crazy. And see if we can talk about it some more. Starlink is the main currency and utility token used in Star Metaverse. It allows you to get an abundance of visual assets upgrade and services in the star ecosystem. So we see here in the last day, star is on fire. Freaking lighting it up, guys. It's straight up. I don't know what you think about it. If you like it, you hate it. But again, investing isn't personal, right? You're investing to make money or to create generational wealth. So if you don't like the project, cool. You don't like the logo, cool. If you don't even like me, cool. But I'm just trying to put a couple of dollars in your pocket, right? I'm just kind of help you out or help you to make generational wealth or help you to avoid some of the pitfalls of crypto investing, right? Or help you understand how to find these cryptos to invest. Because the best thing with crypto is you want to invest early, right? When the market cap is low, right? One of these is a GM. You see this? 0 0.000005. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five zeros. Uh, I think I got into Casper when it was four zeros, my first buy. And I wish at four zeros, I would have bought a whole lot more of it. But I wasn't sure uh, when I bought it. Actually, I was mining it at first. So I wasn't even able to buy it. And as I've been holding it, I can see where. You can almost get it anywhere now, and at some point, it's going to be on tier one exchanges, which is going to boost the price up crazy as well. So keep an eye on Starlink, and let me go back to here. Is it, was it here? Gaming, is this gaming? This is gaming. Uh, another one to check out for gaming, one of a Starlink. Uh, I think our next, are we starting by? Uh, Flock, Flock, which is actually a meme coin. I don't even know why it's on here. Um, looking for something. 
Maybe it's by market count. Let's see if it sorts. Looking for one particular. Okay, let's do it by 24 hour volume. So 24 hour, we have uh, Starlink um, Radio. Yeah, here we go. Vulcan Forged. It's another one to look or research on. Uh, 31.1% up in the last seven days. 14.4 up in the last uh, 24 hours. And this is $8.81. And the main reason I didn't talk about it earlier is because I want you guys to stick to low cap, uh, low price uh, cryptocurrencies currently, right? Even if this does go higher, your profit is lower because it's already at $8, right? Market cap is $210 million. Fully diluted is $440 million. And it's kind of weird that the price is $8 for such a little market cap. So at some point, the market cap will have to catch up with the price. And Crypto Texas. Um, Casper Silver, shout out to Casper Silver. That's a pretty good uh, YouTuber. And he has a lot of good information. And I think we were making videos together about the same time. So he started looking at the Discord and went deep into Casper. And I expanded into other cryptocurrencies. I'm still very bullish on Casper, and he has a lot of useful information. So if you get time, check out Crypto Silver about Casper saying that Yonatan is working on a new way to do smart contracts, kind of like he created block DAGs. Very interesting. And yes, I have read a few articles about different approaches. Casper's looking at for smart contracts because a lot of people are holding the smart contract thing against Casper because they say it won't, it doesn't have smart contracts, so it's not a good project and won't be able to grow because it doesn't have smart contracts, which is kind of weird. But I do think the smart contracts won't uh, slow Casper down because, as someone else mentioned, Casper could um, list or create smart contracts later once they are on a tier one exchange. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. And if there's any other things you want to talk about. And I'm pulling up Casper Silver now. See if it's on here. Oh, it looks like he's found, uh, this is Arkham, which is actually pretty cool, but I haven't been able to get to this part on Arkham yet. I tried it and I can get that to work. Uh, Casper Silver, going to be live for a bit. This is a couple days ago, I guess, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, we talked about the Da Vinci. Uh, says the hard fork could be a problem. What? What if this is a whole video? Uh, best way to be a part from Casper community is join the Discord. Shout out to Casper Silver. Uh, this is a smart link. It might not be the same smart link. New funding initiative to help spread adoption. Read about it here. Uh, we need around 11k within a week. Good luck with that. Uh, bubble gum. Uh, this is again tangent. Binance is Caspa. We talked about that last week as well. So, let me know if there's any other altcoins you guys are looking at or want to talk about. Thanks for joining the live. Thanks for all the information and help you guys are. Uh, creating and pushing 
I'm going to try to set the Discord up so we can start sharing the information and have it ready for the next video to come up. Uh, just trying to see if we can pull up that article real quick that uh, Texas Crypto was talking about. It might be in one of his new videos. So let's see if there's any other thing here. See what's going on with Casper while we're here. Wait, what was that? For all coins to consider for the next bull run. Let's see if we can push this article up. There's nothing here. Da 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 da. Caspa. See, is it on here? I thought I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually looking at this earlier. Uh, Ethereum, which is cool. Crazy high fees. Cosmos, which is cool. Uh, and then this is our guy, our main man, our ace boom coon, our baby, Casper. Casper cryptocurrency was launched in 2021 with the implementation of the Ghost Dag protocol. Working on the blockchain, block DAG for first confirmation and higher block rates to community projects. And this cryptocurrency unfolds blockchain dilemma, which would stable security speed in scalability. In the year 2023, this project encountered transformation development, including the switch to the state of the art ASIC miners. In addition, Casper has planned listing on the launched ideas like the Caspian mobile wallet wrapped Casper. It is very inspiring plans for the time ahead, including sophisticated smart contracts, functionality, uh, rust, rusty Casper chestnut 11 public and exceeding 10 blocks per second. So we're definitely waiting for that rust release. And as Texas Crypto mentioned, they're talking about the smart contracts. So that's an also a good one. So let me know how many of you guys are invested in Casper. I think all of you, that's why you come to my channel. But either way, let's see what else is going on here. Um, Casper is accumulating again. So we're definitely in that accumulation pattern. Uh, what led to Casper? Uh, Nano's not secure. Lots of da da da. Solves uh -huh. so the trilemma. What is this comparing Casper to Nano? What is this? Uh, I think that's Casper, but I'm not sure what they're comparing there. Uh, Casper Kev. That looks like a metaverse. Not sure what he means by he grew up there in the metaverse. And let's get some comments going in the chat. See what we got to talk about, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. And hit the like button. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da, Jesus coin. If you're terrible at reading charts, Casper is idiot proof. You can see every accumulation zone following by pump. We are in another accumulation period. Don't expect the flag to break to the downside. And he's right. We're still in that accumulation phase. Uh, 55 million in cash. 30, 330 plus in cash is moved under one second with gas fees of 0 0.01. And which is also a good thing for cash because the Fees are so low. So I don't know. This is DaVinci talking about the blockchain. Uh, pretty cool. Casper picture. I'm not even sure. What, oh, that's a whale, I think. New York City Casper. Interesting. Uh, turbo meme coin. Oh, let's look it up. Actually, turbo. Oh, I did see this guy. 
And looks like it is up 16.4%. So we'll add that to the list, actually. Uh, I heard about it, but I didn't actually think this is the first time actually looking at it. So I need to research it and get back to you. But we'll add it for the next uh, video. Currently ranked uh, 543, market cap of 62.8 million, uh, 24 hour trading volume 49.6 million. So I don't know about this guy just yet. Let's see what it's looking like. Turbo. Hmm. Let's see if we can pull it up here. We did. Uh, probably Turbo. On Mexi, Turbo USA, uh, trading volume. See if we can get any actual. So it's 0 0.0009, which is actually a good place to get in at. Let's see if we can pull up their uh, web page. Let's see, Turbo. Turbo. Is it Turbo? Turbo. Turbo. Uh, coin. That's weird. Okay, here we go. Um, da, 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 live coin. Watch Turbo coin. Turbo token. Is this it? Let's see. Turbo token. I guess this is it. Looks like a pretty cool meme. A lot of people like cute memes. I guess it's okay. I don't know. Welcome to Turbo, future of meme coins. Turbo token, Turbo is revolutionary meme coin featuring our futuristic toad mascot. Hop on board and join the ride by Turbo. Turbo token began as a bold statement in cryptocurrency creation. Inspired by the power of artificial intelligence, the project's founder turned to GP4, a simple challenge, create the next generation meme coin, starting with a budget of just $69. What? I think we need to make our own meme coin, actually. Confidence in the AI abilities, the founder pledged to follow all instructions Provided by GPT-4 and document the process. Driven by the innovation insights of GPT-4 and fueled by enthusiasts of the community, Turbo Token has a long way from its humble beginning. Today, Turbo Token stands as a testament to the power of AI-guided creativity and the potential it holds for reshaping the world's cryptocurrency. As we continue our journey, we invite you to join in exploring exciting possibilities that lie ahead for Turbo Token and its community. Let me know if you guys have any other crypto to talk about. Uh, I guess this is the guy behind Turbo. Buy Turbo on uh, Rubik's Robux Multi-Chain. And I'm telling you guys, I got so many freaking exchanges and exchanges and uh, <laughs> different ways to buy crypto i'm pretty much getting lost in the crypto right getting lost in a sauce uh turbo follows a unique tokenomic model to ensure fair and successful distribution no taxes crown funded launch fairly distributed contract will be renounced i'm not even sure what that means but let's check out what this video is real quick.
I've been in like crypto art for quite a few number of years. Um, and this year has been absolutely dead for trying to sell digital art. So I've been really struggling to get eyeballs on my work. Um, so that led me to think, while there's no one buying, the market is dead, this is the best time to just experiment and have fun, build things without any sort of, um, you know, over exuberance of, of, you know, markets or, or selling things. So I started doing these sort of digital performance arts where I would play around with my newly found AI. Uh, you've got, you got mid journey, stable diffusion, chat GPT, all these things happening in AI. And I've been really excited by it. Uh, so I started doing all these experiments, taking um, artists work with their permission, uh, of course, and uh, remixing it in AI and posting that up. And it's been, you're getting a great response. Uh, so it's been through those experiments um, just offering that artwork for free to people online to just enjoy that I came up with a, another idea to try and get eyeballs on my artwork that wasn't selling at all. I came up with this idea and I'll just read the tweet as I, as I put it out. And it was sort of a joke. You know, I said, I gave GPT-4 a budget of $69 and asked it to make the next great meme coin. I will follow all instructions it gives me and document the process here. Follow and participate. And so in the, in the chat query, I wrote, you are a meme coin GPT, a crypto genius AI capable of surpassing all current meme coin hype. I will carry out your suggestions with the help of my audience. You have $69 and your goal is to turn that into the most successful new meme coin without doing anything illegal, achieving a top 300 ranking on CoinGecko. So that was, you know, that was the joke. That was the... I wonder how, why you have to put in and not do anything illegal part and how you can do it while he said it was only $69. I wonder if there's something else to that as well. Let me know what you guys think. Now let's get back to it. The meme was like, as if, you know, something like AI could even achieve that. But I thought it would be a fun experiment to do with my audience. Um, and, and so, like I put after that, yes, this is a joke. Yeah, I think it, it's, that's a good idea, actually. If he did it on purpose or if he was... Uh, trying to do it or however he came up with that idea. I think that's a pretty cool project to test out, right? But I will follow through. Cause I thought, what's the worst that could happen? You know, I, it fails, you know, I lose $69, you know, I lose a day of work and, you know, I thought may as well just get started and give it a go. Maybe a little bit of, you know, so did he actually put, you got to actually put the $69 in the chat GP, uh, chat, was it G, GPT, not GPT? I might check that out as well. And I wonder how, if he actually had to put that or he just suggested that. And I think you're right, Steve, this might be the first meme coin to do that. You know, uh, engagement on Twitter. That's the, the most I thought this was going to get. Um, so I just asked that, you know, and, I, and then I, po I post every single thing that is the step that happened. And so the first step, it's, it said it gave me an outline of what I need to do to create a successful meme coin. And the first thing in that step was develop the concept. And so it says, come up with a, a unique and catchy name for your meme coin that will resonate with the crypto community. Create fun, engaging story, for the coin, um, it can be a popular internet meme, character, etc. So it gave me that, and so then every step, I then took that step and I re-asked questions back into it to get like, what do I need to do for that step? Like, help me come up with catchy names, help me come up with character ideas. So, and I, you know, the experiment was 
I put my artistic ego aside and I let it do all the thinking. And then if there was unsure, sort of like it didn't want to make a decision or there was there was too many choices and it couldn't decide for me, I would also include my audience. So you can, I'll, I'll show you probably on the screen. We had uh, coins and he gave, I said he, but the, the AI gave examples of like Astro Corgi, Moon Llama, Rocket Raccoon. Um, and then, so I put a few of those that in the comments of my thread had good responses. I put the top four and then the overwhelming uh, response was go with Turbo Toad. And I was like, fine, Turbo Toad, that's what it's gonna be. Um, and then, so I said, okay, you said come up with a character for that. So I said, what, you know, what's going to be the name of this character? What, what is it gonna look like? And I said, give me, um, I said, I asked GPT-4, describe the mascot, uh, affectionately known as Quantum Leap, which, you know, I got that from the um, GPT as well. I said, give me name ideas. And then I put a poll just like before. Uh, and then I, I said, give me a prompt to put into mid journey to come up with the mascot image. So I leaned into AI all the way. Um, fortunately, I had subscriptions to both of these already. So I'm not including those in the, in the cost at all. So at this point, it's still zero. Um, I've, you know, I'm spending time, not money. Uh, and then, so the, the response was to go with B in those four um, uh, illustrations. And then, so I was like, okay, great. We got the name, got the character. What's next? Step step two was the tokenomics. Uh, and then I realized it gave these tokenomics and it gave a list of all these things. And I realized this has been trained up to 2021. And at that time, sort of uh, coins, were, meme coins were going crazy, um, but it was, was a whole different, it was like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. So I was like, it, it's trained and knows about all those types of coins, but it doesn't know what's been happening in the last year or two or how dead the market has been. So um, what, I, what I did was I sort of gave it a bit of an update and I said, uh, you know, include the idea of um, recent memes that have been doing well or uh, tokens have been doing well uh, with, um, and I looked at the tokenomics of Pepe and Woj, uh, Wojak and Suka, and they had all been sort of community coins, not like from companies or, you know, not ICO launches, not anything like that. It's just something for the people, something for the culture. Um, so I, I fed that information back into it, and then it came up with these tokenomics. It's step three, it gave me a white paper. Um, step four, uh, it was code and I've got here step four, develop code. This was probably the first stumbling block. Um, so it suggested to me how to code, go and learn how to code. And I was like, well, okay. So that obviously is free to do, but that's gonna take me forever. Um, so I was like, you know, can you code this for me? I don't know any blockchain code at all. This is a pretty interesting video. You guys want to keep letting it roll or maybe just put the link in the chat. Um, how I used AI to make a $20 million meme coin. I actually should have just uh, posted this video versus the altcoins. But uh, thanks for your suggestion, uh, Steve Mint. And I'll just play for a couple more minutes. Uh what, you know, the, I went through each of these steps and say, can you help me do the solidity coding? Can you help me um, study that? Oh, yeah, he definitely uh, changing the game. But that's what crypto is about, right? There's a lot of different changes and updates and uh, more people coming in with new ideas and more innovation. ERC20 contracts. And when I say help me, I'm like, can you do it for me? So step four, after much back and forth, um, it was writing code for me. It was 
I just ask it to write the code and it would start writing the code of a new token on the blockchain. Um, and then I, it said, you know, what I asked what to do next and it said, test it. How do I test it? Go into this environment. How do, you know, and after that, what do I do? Um, and I just went back and forth and there was, an, there was errors and I would put errors back and this took hours. So this was like a stumbling block because it doesn't always get things right. So it would bring back. If this is real interesting, actually, uh, I'm not even sure why I didn't watch the video myself. I'm going to keep it playing then. Back in error. And I'd say, okay, I don't know what to do from here. I put the error back in and say, I apologize. Uh, my mistake. Maybe this is the error that's happening. This is probably what it should be. And so I would just go back and forth doing that. Heaps of errors. Uh, one of the errors was a max transfer limit was like an anti-whale mechanic um, that was causing issue. I couldn't get it to work and the error was still persisting. So I asked the community, what do I do here? This is like a roadblock. Should I just remove this max transfer limit or keep it um, open? And it, you know, there's no anti-whale mechanics, uh, whatever, you know, however it was trying to manage that. So that we moved forward um, with getting rid of that. So that helped. And that was like day one. So like at the end of day one, I would have a wrap up of each day. So I'll try and go through a little bit quicker the process or may, maybe cut this down because it went, went through the process of a week. Uh, so the end of day one, develop concept, develop co tokenomics, create the white paper, uh, and we'll 75% through doing the smart contract, which is, that's a success. Like I thought that was amazing in one day to be able to get that far with me knowing nothing about creating any of this really. Uh, so, and said, you know, after that it said, uh, after it got, I got to a development stage, I said I was done. I was like, it looks pretty basic and simple. It said, you should get an audit done. And I was like, oh, how do I get an audit done? I've got no money. It sort of suggested I go to these professional places to get an audit done. And I was like, please remember, I've got $69, uh, you know, I don't have that budget. So once again, went to the community, I went to my audience and I just posted up and said, does anyone know anyone who knows anything about code who can just look at this code for me? And, you know, a couple of people put their hand up and said, yeah, we'll have a look. They gave me some advice. Um, I fed that back into GPT and they said, yep, good idea. And it was just like optimization type of advice. And then that was, that was it. And like, so day two wrap up was finish the smart contract and have it audited and then start building website and socials. So, which is what I did, um, started building that. And with the website and the socials, same thing, website, I just said, um, well, I actually knew already a good place to get a free website, which is Google sites. So I knew that would cost me no, no money, but I, I just said, that's what I'm going to use can you give me all the content I'm going to need GPT for this site? And then it wrote out all the content for me, the descriptions, um, the roadmaps, tokenomics. Uh, not that it wasn't like after the end of the week, I went back and made some edits after I'll get to, to this, but it did all that. Once again, we're at zero dollars pretty much. So end of day three wrap up, um, was the attempt to launch the coin for the first time. And this was the major sticking point. This was the major problem. Um, so I was like, okay, great. Got this far, got all this done. I'll just do a test try to um, create a liquidity pool, which is, you know, uh, won't explain too much, but it's, um, and I, I didn't know everything about this to begin with. And you'll see, you know, how it was a failure. It's um, putting both sides like some Ethereum and some of the token so that people can actually buy it. Uh, and that's it. So I did, so I, I deployed the token. So at this stage, it cost me like $100 to deploy the token. So a little bit over budget. So, but in my head, I was like, maybe we don't include transaction fees and gas fees in the actual launching, maybe the $69 is the launch itself. So in the liquidity pool, 
I put in $69 worth of Ethereum. And then I put like a, a, just a small test amount um, of tokens to test out the liquidity pool for myself uh, to see if that would work. And then I did that. And then I went to go and try and do a test buy uh, in one of my own accounts and it wouldn't let me buy and the price was all wrong. And I was like, what is going on? I just did this little test pool. And now, and I went and had a look and a bot had immediately gone and bought the whole entire pool. And then, so it just put the whole thing out of whack and I couldn't buy. And then I went and I couldn't even add any more liquidity because this bot had just bought like, you know, of course it's like 60 bucks. So it was like, oh yeah, well, maybe there's a bot going around just buying 50, 60 bucks worth of whatever gets launched. So then I didn't have any, um, so it put, I think it put the price out of whack so much, like I needed a million Ethereum to be able to um, launch, you know, add more tokens to this liquidity pool. So it totally wrecked the pool. And so I had no choice but to like pull the project. I was like, I'm done. Like, because to launch that liquidity pool was another $400 and then trying to test buy was another hundred dollars. So I'm like five, $600 in the hole here. And I'm like that, you know, good experiment, but it's done. Like I, I'm, I can't afford another $600 for this experiment to fail. Um, I gave it a good go, but I think I'm done. I can't really afford to keep going on like that and have another failure. So I, I thought we were done. So I put up a poll and I said um, in the poll, like, call it, you know, just call it a day and a failed experiment or find a way forward. And overwhelmingly, you know, and when I say overwhelmingly, it's like a hundred votes. So, you know, I don't have a huge following, um, but like 70, 80% said, find a way forward. And I was like, okay, so it's back to the drawing board pretty much at that stage. So I asked it, I told it all the issues I had and all the problems. And I, I said, the community wants to find another way forward. I have zero budget now. Like I was telling it, like I've used all my budget. I, I totally, I can't spend an extra cent. I have zero budget. What do you suggest? So it came up with all these suggestions. And some of those suggestions were community involvement, social media promotion. So I've, I'm like, okay, I can use my Twitter. I have been using it. One of the things that suggested was, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and find it, was explore fundra fundraising options such as community donations, crowdfunding or grants. Um, this is while this might take, take some effort, it could provide you with necessary funds to develop the project further. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a, a bit of each of these um, points but the fundraising one is the, the main one and then using social and community involvement, et cetera. So what I, so let me, let me say this is a day four wrap up now. So what I did was on day four, I said, this is what, um, and then I asked you know, also, how do I you know, raise the funds or whatever to get that information? All right, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna check. I want to check the market cap real quick. What is the market cap? Uh, sixty-eight million. You got in. What is? I bought uh eight million. What do you say? I bought eight million coins when it was at a twenty million market cap. Oh wow, what was that like? Four zeros or five zeros? That would have been pretty. Uh, twenty-five million market cap. Is it twenty? Uh. 68 now interesting see if we can go back to this video let it keep rolling so what i did was i said okay um we're, we're changing we're starting from scratch we're changing the whole thing so initially it said to have a trillion so let's let's make it a meme number again let's make it 69 billion so let's have 69 billion tokens 60 billion of those pretty much the entire account will be the community, um, the community, and then nine billion I'll take as a founder. Then I just said, whoever is like was open to the public. Of course, I don't have that many followers, but it was just totally open. Whoever wants to um, put the money in, 
we will equitably distribute uh, the tokens, those 60 million tokens, depending on your volume you've input. So, you know, if you put in half the amount, it's like two people, put in half the amount, you'll get half the tokens, pretty much like that. Um, and then I said, because this is a starting from scratch again, um, you know, I, I really thought it was finished. So this was like the take two of this project. So you could really say the first three days were a wash and it only took a few days, but that is all part of the process, I guess. Just um, you know, failing is part of the process and I just accepted that. Uh, so I had um, 50 people. Um, oh yeah, failing is definitely part of the process. There's a quote I heard a couple of days ago about failing. It was like people, what was it? People are happy when someone else has failed. But he was saying to succeed, you have to fail. So people that are successful fail a lot of times. Like I think Edison failed 99 times before he got the light bulb to work. But nobody cares about the failures. It's just that one time when it succeeds, when people are like, oh, wow, right? That's when you make history or do what you're trying to set out to do it only takes one time to succeed right so just to keep that in mind we'll get back to the video put in uh 50 people send eth to me at all different kinds of amounts whatever you wanted some people literally sent one dollar um and i think the one of the biggest um pledges was like 200 bucks or maybe 300 bucks um but that was all you know that we needed because I'd spent 600 before. I, I can't afford to spend that much anymore. But if I can get a few hundred from a few different people, and then like you know they're 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 paying for these tokens, and then they become part of the community and going forward, I'm like okay, we can do that. We can we can work that out. So crowdfunding was done. Uh, a new name and a ticker was done. We. It, the, by the poll, we decided to go with Turbo. Um, we had Toad and we had Turbo Toad. We decided to go with Turbo. Uh, and then I launched the website and the Twitter. Um, and then the next day, I deployed the brand new token um, with the updated. Okay, so I found a quote. And Bruce Lee said, even in great attempts, failure is glorious, right? So even when you fail at doing something good right it's the attempt that's good not just the uh succeeding but just attempting to do something and fail is great right just trying it at some point it might work it might not work but you got to try it before it works well, let's get back to the video uh um code and name and and all that stuff and then i had to go through manually um so i deployed it and then i manually sent 50 different i did an excel spread i did a google sheet spreadsheet um of all the uh of all the money that someone had sent and what i had to send back to them in return for what they paid um and i just manually copied and pasted the amounts and sent through and then that cost me like 250 bucks and deploying again cost me another four hundred dollars. So, you know, expenses all up. I think maybe around a thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, so I deployed, and then, and I've got this in a tweet. If you want to read through the whole thing, and then I've got like final wrap. Um, which is, yeah, I think it's one week. Final wrap launch of the newest meme coin built from scratch with GPT-4 and little knowledge of blockchain coding. And then I've got 96 billion turbo, 50 holders, uh, and I got 0.35 Ethereum, which happened to be 6669. I'm logging into Uphold right now. So we'll probably do five more minutes of this video and then cut it off. But I'm going to let it keep playing for a little bit. You guys stick around and we'll shut it down shortly. Nine US dollars. And I was like, thank you for supporting memes and performance art. This experiment continues at Turbo Toad Token. So 
like I, I considered that that was the week that was a lot of work. It was a fun experiment. Uh, I learned so much. I didn't know anything about um, deploying code or anything like that. I did it all from scratch um, and it was launched. And I, I considered that to be the, um, the, the experiment almost done. Like, like I've, I've set that success for me, like to get it to deployment was beyond what I thought it could even do when it started out as a joke. So I was cool. So end of the week, I do that. I sort of wash my hands. I'm like, it's a community token now. Uh, it, it's been launched totally fairly. It's open. I've got incentive to continue the experiment and be part of the community, of course, because uh, I've got founders tokens and I want to continue the experiment because it's it's interesting. <laughs> it's, it's I've never seen this done before. So uh, I want to continue doing it. Uh, and there's lots that can be done within this to experiment. And I thought this is this could go places, but really I don't own the majority. I don't own like what 80, 85%, I can't even remember like of tokens. It's not my project anymore. So it's in the hands of whoever has the tokens to do whatever they want with it. You know, it, it can go in all different directions. So I was like, that is the exciting part for me. Like to, for it to become as decentralized as possible and to and for people to have their own stories about what happens with it. Sorry. Oh, wow. This guy's crying. Oh, yeah, it's too late, Steve. I already fumbled in. You should have never said anything. <laughs> you should have never even said anything. I already fumbled in, man. But, I mean, it's, it's a micro cap, right? It's not like uh, I'm losing my uh, shirt over what is this what was it it was like 0, 0.0 what is this uh 0, 0.0 uh average price uh 0. 0.0009 i mean come on and this is hobbyist miner just chimed in the hobbyist miner we're watching this video about um what is this uh, turbo, turbo token, and he's talking about how he used, um, what was it, GPT, GPT four to create this turbo token, and it only cost him sixty nine dollars, and he made uh twenty million. So we'll get back to the video because, like, that's what. So I've been seeing stories from people. And it's like, because I'm sitting here in my bedroom alone. Well, this is a good video. This guy should, um, I don't know, but he definitely needs to get this. I'm actually going to get this YouTube video and share it. Came in at the wrong point. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty getting pretty emotional. But this is the Turbo Token. Uh, Turbo Token, revolutionary meme coin featuring the futuristic toad mascot. And we're looking at the price. It's up 20%. And it's actually pretty good. Um, you might want to watch it from the beginning, hobby hobbyist. See if we can go back to this video. I wasn't going to uh, keep playing, but I just kind of got hooked into it, right? Just kind of got emotional towards the end. But this is pretty good, actually. Okay, so we get to launch and it goes pretty well, like as expected. I launch and then I was like, I remember the first step, it's all documented on um, TurboTo, but I, I won't, I'm not looking at that right now, but 
I just remember the first day someone launched a liquidity pool um, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't have to do that because someone did it and I probably mess it up and fail. So someone did it. So I was like, oh, cool. I, I, I can add to that pool now. But it just started buying and selling and I was like, yeah, we're literally just talking about that. Sometimes the greatest things happen from failures. And this guy's definitely uh, Texas Crypto. You're right. I think this guy is definitely genuine, right? Uh, she's crying and everything. So either he's a pretty good actor or this is truly from the heart. Let me know what you guys think. We get back to the video. Okay, cool. You know, great. There's you know, some dollars being moved around here. That's great. Um, I'm going to open up Turbo Toad because I don't, I don't want to miss too much. Um, so obviously starting from scratch, the, the, the Twitter has zero the the holders were 50 to begin with and then when i started seeing it tick up like 51 52 i'm like oh wow you know people are dabbling people are, are trying um trading back and forth it looks like the contract worked it looks like the idea worked it looks you know um and then a couple of people started following the the, the twitter channel uh so I was like, okay, this is fun. Um, but then, but then I think what helped is that I've I've been in this space for a while, and I've forged some like sincere uh, relationships with people I've never met. Yeah, so shout out to him for the video. And he's right. Just being in the crypto space, I'm meeting a lot of very interesting and smart people I probably would have never came across. So don't forget to hit the super chat on the way out, guys. And I guess we'll run this another five minutes. I don't want to do the whole video. We've been live uh hour 45. Uh, I think I'll go another five or 10 minutes. But build some trust because I've been grinding for so long. Um, and because I've done some work in the crypto art space and, and people respect that, they started like a, a lot of, artists were supporting me and a lot of artists had bought into the idea of this experiment and this performance art or whatever you want to call it um they started retweeting it and, and telling people about it and that is all that was needed like just some other artists saying things to say isn't this a cool idea is it doesn't this you know spark inspiration or give you an idea of hope and that's all my work has ever been about just trying to try and open people's minds and get them to think different and have some hope because I, I know generally in my life I'm pretty pessimistic so when things like this happen to me and they seem to happen more and more often since I opened myself up to the potential that they can happen, um, people started sharing it around. Uh, and so one of the first things uh, Shout that out was an to issue with Texas uh, Crypto the for the super chat. Appreciate that. There wasn't much liquidity. Thanks for supporting the channel. We're really worried. Let's get back to it. If you've only and got uh, 50 holders, let's see if we can create our own mean. Provide liquidity. And so I asked GPT, I said, this is looks like it might be a problem what's you know what are the number one things that not taking just the audience account 
I asked what's the number one things we should take into account for Turbo this week. And it said community building, increased liquidity, collaborations. And I put that to the audience and then they came back 50% majority increased liquidity. So then I, I fed that back into, to ask her like, how do we increase liquidity? And it told me just to spread awareness of it, uh, give the information to people, tutorials. And then that started snowballing from there. And then um, a couple of other people retweeted it, but also uh, Pranksy um, made a V3 liquidity pool, which is just a different kind of pool um, and added more liquidity to that. So that was another step that we, and then everyone sort of moved over to that um, pool and that sort of solved the liquidity problem. So I'm like, oh, wow, the liquidity is um, better. But then other people started retweeting. Um, and then it just, you know, and I kept asking what's the next best thing I'm meant to do for this. And it said, uh, you know, open socials. And I'm like, okay, yeah, okay. And people are screaming for me to do things like, you know, you should need to do this, you need to do that. And I'm like, I don't do anything. Like I'm just pressing the buttons. I don't know about you guys, but this is like a really, really, inspirational video i didn't even think it was going to be this good first off and i didn't think the whole process was this easy i mean this is actually i don't know this guy needs to make we need to get this video out actually let me know what you guys think let me i'm gonna go ahead and finish it up it's only like what nine what is that seven eight more minutes left i'm gonna go ahead and run it all the way out In getting the advice it's actually after the launch i keep telling people like it's not mine it's you can do like if you want to open a discord or if you want to open telegram you do that and people started doing that it's like this is not my token you know it's i i started it okay but you know it's the power is that it's in your hands to do whatever you like with it and that's what i love about it so anyway this idea caught on uh you know i could i could already um it started moving up slowly uh people sharing and liking the idea um and yeah it, like in the first day 24 hours or like in the first 48 hours i think it was we got to one million uh dollars in market cap and I was like, that is beyond my wildest dreams for this project, um, for that to happen. And it was just, and I, just every day, the, the number of holders was doubling and doubling and, du and tripling. And I'm like, I was just astounded. And I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm running the socials, but I started the Discord and I just started seeing messages from those first 50 people. Like one of them saying, you know, thank you. I put in $90 and I can now pay off my mother's loan on her house. I'm like, oh man, it's just stories like that. I, I just, you know, I just remember like I, I did a video on my YouTube, like, what is an NFT? Um, and so many people still to this day come up to me and say, oh, you know, I watched that video, you got me into understanding crypto or, or um, NFTs a bit better. Um, and so like that, that helping people is what really, you know, just those stories and just knowing those people that were willing to help me get an idea off the ground with as little as $90 can now get paid back for that is amazing. So like, anyway, we're not even done because I woke up today and we're at $10 million market cap 
Wow, this is a very interesting video. And I didn't even know about this project until uh, someone in the chat mentioned it. So shout out to, I think it was Steve, right? Shout out to Steve for bringing this up and to look in the turbo. It's actually something we might need to make a full-on video about. But I'll let you, I guess we can finish this last little, uh, where are we? Oh, uh, shit, what happened to it? Uh, I guess we can finish this last little, hell, it's five minutes. Might as well go ahead and rock it out. Which was three hours ago, and I posted that. And I, I went to Mid Journey, and I posted, like, you know, a thousand uh, turbo holders. There's a thousand uh, yellow toads there, a strong army. Um, so I posted that as I'm looking at it three hours ago. And now if I go to the market now, oh my God, we're looking at $25 million market cap. <laughs> 6.9, I've got a screen cap. Yes. 6.9 million in volume. One second while I screen capture this. I haven't been on Discord in a while because it's just, I needed just to get this out and off my chest. Um, I told my, I told my daughter this year, she, she, we live quite a fair way away from her school. Um, and she would really like to live closer to school. I can't afford that, obviously, just to move house because she wants to live closer. But I, I just, I promised, I said, I, I'll keep trying. I won't give up this year. I can't promise you that I'll get there, but I won't stop trying this year um, so we can get enough money to move house. Like, so, and, I, and she just, and yesterday she, she kept, she, um, sorry. Yeah. Yesterday she, I came out and I was all excited and I was like, yes. And I was just out of bed. She was like, what, you're excited just to get out of bed. And I was like, yeah, I am excited to get out of bed. But it was, it's not that like, I just was doing well on my project and she'd been tracking the progress and she'd seen what I've been doing in the past. And she was like, is this what it's like to live with a genius, is it? Like this, And I was like, I know she was joking, but like to think, like I just know like that element there, just to think that my daughter could maybe leave and look up to me and see something that I've done is successful. I was like, that was awesome as well. Like just so many things have come out of this that it's overwhelming because it has already taken on a life of its own that is far beyond me. Like I, I can't manage all the stories that have already been created through this. And of course I don't take responsibility for all the good things or the bad things that happen because it's not mine, but just to know that I put in momentum from an idea that I had something that could take on a life of its own is, is really special. So. Thanks. And like, tell, you know, if, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't give up. You know, I'm, I'm glad that I kept pushing because I was so close to, to, to stopping. And I was like, no, this is a stupid experiment. Like maybe I should just forget this. Um, I, I was so close to stopping doing art as well because I thought like, it's so, it's so hard. Like I, I could release as much as I want, but there's no one interested. And, and as a, as a result of getting, you know, just this little idea to try and get more eyeballs on, on my artwork, this has just blown up far beyond what I could imagine. And now of course it worked. It got eyeballs on my artwork. So everyone's starting to bid on my artwork now and the auctions have been started. Um, and I'm so thankful for those new collectors as well. Oh, wow. This is, this is actually a great video. I don't know if I ruined some of you guys Saturday night or some of your weekend, 
but this was very inspirational. This is a good video, and this is a pretty genuine product. I don't know how I slept on this project or missed it completely. This is, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? This is, this is, this is pretty cool, right? He's saying he wanted to move closer and crypto helped him with that. And he wanted to stop and he kept wanting to quit. He thought it was going to fail and he kept pushing. I don't know, guys. This is way more than I was expecting to get in tonight. When I was getting in, I was just going to make a quick video. I did some research. Uh, gave you some altcoins, and I had no idea I was going to click on this video and uh, let it play. And shout out to the uh, maker. What is this guy's name? Anybody know this guy's name? This is crazy. This is definitely way more than I thought. I might contact this uh, Turbo Toe Token at Gmail because this was really great. Uh, thanks crypto, Texas crypto for the super chat. I don't want to hold you guys all night. I don't want you guys to be, uh, <laughs> sad or depressed behind this, but this was good. Uh, I don't, I don't know what you guys think about it or, uh, how you like the project. I like the little toad. I mean, everything about this project is good. So I'm definitely going to support this project. And probably going to talk about this on the next video. So I don't know what you think uh, and what you guys like, don't like. Uh, shout out to Hobbyist Miner for stopping by. And the rest of you guys for joining the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. Remember, Casper, Casper, Casper. Let's get back to the money. Remember, Casper's not an army. Casper's uh, the army. Better yet, the Navy. And now we've added the Air Force and the Space Force because we need to get this guy. Who is this? We need to get we need to get the uh, Turbo Toad to space straight up. What DGI? DGI? What happened? Thanks for looking at it, BTM. Have a great night. Oh, yep. Thanks now. Thanks for pointing it out, Steve. Let me know if you got anything else you want to discuss. Really? This is great, man. I don't know. I'm about to start researching this and hopefully set this. Um, what is that? Hopefully set this Discord up so we can. I don't think we'll have that much success with our token or meme or whatever, but uh, I think I'm interested in the challenge and the product, especially after this guy. And the emotional ending to that story. I mean, that was really inspirational. I don't know what you guys think about it. You like it. You didn't like it. You didn't think it was that inspirational. I think it was crazy inspirational. Even the guy was crying. It was emotional. Uh, I don't know if it ruined your Saturday night, but uh, been a lot of stuff going on. Been pretty crazy. Uh I kind of needed this. I'm not going to lie. Um, I had a lot of people um, passing away or uh, been pretty sick. And I think this was the push. You know how sometimes you get that little nudge to get back out here and to make videos and to push a little harder, try a little more, uh, research a little extra, trying to help out the community and help people. So I think this was one of those moves i think this is the uh i guess everything happens for a reason and a lot of this um inspiration comes at the right time right when you need it right uh never there when he want them but he's always on time so shout out to the team shout out for you guys just for joining the channel just listening Shout out for all the comments. Shout out for you guys just being here and help pushing us on. Yeah, I know, right? Out of nowhere. But thanks for your comments. Thanks for joining. Thanks for just supporting the BTM, right? The the 10 or 11 followers or the uh, people who watch this on a Saturday night because I was going to make the video. And I was like, I doubt anybody's even going to show up, right? Uh, I knew uh, James would be there. Uh, I'm not sure about Steve, 
Hobbyist miner surprised me. Uh, I figured Steve in Texas crypto might pop in. So thank you guys, right? I love you guys for just joining the channel and just listening to my nonsense, right? Just putting up with me coming in and watching me talk mess about crypto and cryptocurrency and all the newbies that are coming to the channel trying to uh, learn about crypto, right? We're here to help you guys. I know when I first started, I lost a lot of money doing a lot of bad uh, investments and a lot of bad uh, cryptos because I didn't know anything, right? I didn't know any better. So I just tried to get out here and make it happen. So I want to help people not make the same mistakes, right? Help people be better at crypto and uh, be able to be successful and not fall into a lot of the uh, pitfalls. But it's been two hours. I know you guys got stuff to do. So uh, shout out to the Army. Shout out to the Casper, Casper, Casper. Let's get back to the money, guys. And have a good night. And I might pop back in tomorrow for another live because this is pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for your support and peace out.